I wanna look. What? What the hell just happened? Okay, look, this is super weird. Look at this. It's now 11 connected devices for the security system. It's the same computer. What? That's so strange. But even more strange is what even killed me earlier. I don't... What was that? I don't know. No more tacos, though. <laughs> Maybe I should just avoid that place. That was scary. I'll take that. And that. That was a one-hit kill. I, uh, maybe I won't go out that way. I'm gonna go out. But I can't. It's a window. Hmm. I'll get back on the roof. I don't even know what got me. Yeah. So now you're telling me I gotta go... I feel like the objective is a little bit strange today. It's kind of going all over the place, so I'm just gonna ignore it, okay? I'm just gonna do my own thing. Can't mark that guy. Can I get a ping? These guys have really far sight. Did I step on the radio or what? <laughs> I don't even know. Whatever. Yeah, see, now it's telling me I should go there again. But there's a huge place here besides for that one location, so we can just chill out. Here's the AVs. No. Oh, once upon a time, I was riding in one of these too. Once upon a time. Probably safer for me to be under here. Net shamans! Pacifica has everything you would expect of a place with such an infamous reputation. Shady locals, sketchy shops, and the presence of the enigmatic voodoo boys. Enigmatic how, you ask? After all, it's not uncommon for close-knit gangs to harbor secrets about which of the rest of the city is completely unaware. And the Voodoo Boys are no different from any of those groups, right? Now ask yourself this, have you ever witnessed a gang shootout? Probably more times than you can count on two hands. And who was there? The Valentinos, Tiger Claws, Maelstrom, Sixth Street, but never the Voodoo Boys. Never them. Hmm, you're right. Depending on who you ask, you'll hear different stories and opinions about the reclusive gang. They're the de facto leaders of Night City's Haitian diaspora. They slaughter black roosters in blood sacrifice, and God only knows how they get them. They commune with their ancestors through prayer. They summon ghosts and allow them to assume control of their bodies. They bring pain, disease, and suffering to their enemy's doorstep with the help of occult voodoo dolls. Perhaps you think, some or even all of these claims are just hollow rumors, but can you be so sure? Some say they have witnessed voodoo boy netrunners in the deep net. Surrounded by vampires and leviathans, they traverse these strange depths of cyberspace, both more beautiful and dangerous than we can never imagine in real space. Their objectives there, known only to themselves. So who are they? What are they searching for? What is their plan? In the end, perhaps we shouldn't ask ourselves these questions. Some secrets are better left undiscovered. Hmm, Evelyn's already gone, but we didn't even get to find out what her boss was all about yet. Because remember the whole reason why we were going to go to Pacifica to find the Voodoo Boys is because we found that Evelyn's boss is probably a Voodoo Boy. Do Voodoo Boys only have men? Are they sexist? Oh no. But I'm guessing they're not as mysterious as that thing makes it sound. It's just that we don't know much about them. It is definitely true that we haven't seen them in a gang fight before though. That part is a little bit strange. I'm pretty sure we've been to Pacifica before. There's no one place on the map that we've never been to before, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, well, we'll think about it later. We have a bigger mission with us right now. Actually, I wanted to go to that building there before we go here. I just started talking and walking back here. Somebody's sitting down in some building which means we gotta go investigate. 
And this area is gonna be a problem. There's like five guys all in a row here. I don't have them all marked, but you can see all five of them. This area is a little bit different. It's cut off a bit. How do I get in there? Not like that. You are an easy target when you step out. Ah, even I see you now. Be quiet. You gotta be careful of the mech. Behemoth. I really don't know why sometimes we can ping people, or sometimes we can tag people, other times not. It's a little bit strange. <sighs> it seems like there was only one door to this place. Should we just ignore it then? Because it seems like... I, I can't get the guy if he's looking at the door. Unless if I ping something else on purpose. That's still by the window, though. I want to ping something that's completely facing away, if possible. Now we're here anyway. We gotta think of something. Oh, this area is actually safe. Oh! What? This is not a hostile area, for some reason. Look at it. The fire extinguisher. It's so suspicious. Oh my freaking god. What did I say about windows? That was really, really, really close. I got lucky here, basically. This plant saved my hide. But even if he wanted to walk over here, I don't think there's a door, unless if he jumps over the wall. Mister, I just want to read the... Do you want to leave? Please. I'm gonna try reading. Okay, there we go. Bushido! We've read this one, right? We've definitely picked it up before. Oh, it's the- Oh, the film! The trashy film! Hey, we haven't come across any containers so far yet, right? Because I, I suddenly remembered the container 667 thing. But I'm pretty sure it hasn't come up yet. Or at least I hope it hasn't. Oh my god, you're kidding me. Another one of these computers! Okay, forget it. Out of here. Armored Enforcer. I feel like we walked around the entire outside, but not in the warehouse. <laughs> hey, we can open these gates. Body 5. Oh, but there's people everywhere. Um... If I walk across, that's not gonna be good. But am I doing it? Yes, I am. Gotcha. 
How's things at your end? Good. I reached the control room and make a terrible mess. Very well. I am ready. When you finish, I'll make the system sick. We're inside. Hey, container... I can't really read it. 660? We must be close. Dude, I want to ping something. This is too... We should probably find the container first. We don't know what's gonna happen once we... Once we hack the float. Not opening that. 663. Jeez. And that person I can't tag. 662? Four? Three? Where's seven? You're patrols or something. I can't. I can't be standing here all day long. Come on, time's a ticking. Time is money. <laughs> Every time I'm letting him see me a little bit, that's probably resetting his patrol timer. I gotta just stand still. But hey, you can see parts of the float, I think. This looks very. It looks vaguely Japanese y. Hey, there's the OBS logo. No, it's like some Japanese Shinto thing. It's not just for OBS. OBS is a program that people use to record gameplay video, if you didn't know. Mm. Does that guy ever move, or do I just go? Can I go between... You know what? I'm just gonna... I need ping. I need ping badly. Hey, it's not even... Okay. Yeah, like what? It's not... There's so many people I can't tag. I guess I just gotta rely on the ping. Like, if I untag one from outside, can I tag one from inside? Oh, okay. So I guess there's a limit on how many people you can tag at once. Is what's happening here. But why though? I don't want to bother untagging the people outside. That's such a hassle. Ah! <gasps> hmm. I don't know what we're looking at here, so I feel like if we try to kill somebody, we better have a really good spot for hiding them. Because otherwise, a body's gonna get discovered. 665, come on. No, no, we're not getting close enough. 667! You know what? Getting rid of that guy might be a good idea, actually. But how, though? Because... Might be kind of hard. There's no place for me to hide here. I'm just walking around in the same place, because I don't know where to go. That guy doesn't seem to move. Why did I do that? Open fire. Ah, no! No! Okay, well, now we can look around more carefully, right? Oh, jeez! Oh, I'm so angry. All of that amounted to... Nothing. Okay, I should probably worry about the people in here, and not the people outside. Woo! You know what? It's really dark in here. I can't really see. Just like people are trying to hack me left and right. 
Ooh. You know, I think the Widowmaker is a little bit too weak for me now. It's not really... Especially because I never upgraded it. Compared to Divided We Stand, which I actually did spend some resources upgrading. Well, they never said I had to be stealthy. Man, we were so close though, if we were just... <clears throat> Whatever. Whatever, anybody else want some? Where are y'all hacking me from? I'm too young to die! Okay, shut up then. Shoot! Oh frick now, there's like a whole bunch of people out here too. Mm! I almost want to restart to try to stealth again, but you know not I'm not gonna die on purpose. Oh, frick, there's so many people. This is not openable. I will come back to check the computers after all the fighting's done, okay? For now, I'm gonna focus- Whoa! Oh, damn, sorry, man. That guy fell to his death. Anybody else around here? There's gotta be more. I just don't know where you are. It's a big place here. Oh! Twenty people here. Oh! Sniper. I'll make the system sick. Okay, they put me back at the very beginning here, which is good because now I can know to not go to that side because there's nothing there. Forget it. Oh shoot! Did I just give that guy contagion? Uh, oh, rebooted optics. I wanted to press ping, but I pressed the wrong one. Let's just try to ignore the guys if we can. Yeah, 660. Okay, I'll try to reach the terminal primarily. And once we're done, we'll think about getting the container. Snipers have definitely got to go. Look at all this fancy stuff here. Whoa. It's so dark, I can hardly see. No, we're going back to this side again. <laughs> There's nothing here. Don't even bother coming back. Oh! Fancy, fancy. They didn't finish adding the head on yet? Hmm. I know there's a guy that patrols around here. I'm just trying to think. Just trying to see where he is. Is dropping on top of a guy always lethal? That guy's not gonna see, right? I don't feel good about leaving him here, but carrying the body around is a risk, too. There's risks everywhere. It's a little bit hard. I don't see the strip. Oh, jeez. <sighs> Do you think I can just... That kind of worked. 
Good, good. What you slot is what you got. I'm trying to get in here. It's like a float, but an actual building, too. Thank you and goodbye. This is it. I just don't know what's gonna happen if I do that. Are people gonna know immediately I'm here? Probably not. Hopefully not. Okay. Floats ours to do with as we please. You can fly to Tokyo if you want. Haha. <laughs> I just may do that. Good work. <laughs> now it is my turn. Can you see? Terrible chaos. Even the roof is slowly. Me, the roof. That is your will. There are buildings around. Smaller ones. Use them to come down. I want to look at the computer. Is that okay? Uh, status cargo bay. Delivered to Night City. Transported to Arasaka Industrial Park. No flaws, efficiencies, or external tampering detected. Floats are ready for assembly. Hmm. Nothing special. Well, we gotta find the cargo container, though. I can't go yet. I can't go. I have to stay for my people. Why is nobody getting alerted that an entire freaking... The roof just opened up and nobody even cares. Jeez. Anyway. Let's freaking get this guy. One thing that we could do is if we leave this area right now, we might be able to come back later and just get the container. Because I just don't. Mm. But we haven't looked around the entire place yet, though. I feel like we're so close. Look at these numbers 656. Where are the containers? 657! Oh, there's a whole bunch of people everywhere. Actually, the place is really big, but... If you consider the square footage, there's actually not that many people here. No, these numbers are going down now. It's so hard to read. 650? 49? Oh, I want to look at all the floats too, but I guess we'll see during parade day. 622. No, it had to be by that area that we were at. Where the frick is it? 667! Oh my god, you're kidding me! 667 is outside! I just spent like 20 years clearing literally everybody inside the warehouse out. Everybody's been knocked out now, and you're telling me this container was outside the whole time. There's even a freaking mine here, you're joking me. Oh, how sneaky! I thought you'd be by the other numbers for sure. Whoa! Prototype. Shingen Mark V. Should I switch it with my... Ah! Ah, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wow, I can't believe how sneaky they were. You missed literally nothing, though. I'm probably gonna cut the hunt for it out, but, um, yeah. Won't hit the market for a few years. Interested in giving it a test run? Hmm. Seems pretty good. It's a submachine gun, actually. I thought it was a little pistol. Sure, I'll try using it. Yeah, maybe I'll replace it with the... Or I'll, I'll replace the Widowmaker too, because... That gun... 
it's probably a little bit too low level for me now. Cool. Oh, I can't believe it. That's why there was a guy- there was a dude standing staring at this container the whole time. Uh-oh. But I'm out of here. But the one good thing is, while walking all over the warehouse, I did find another room with a bunch of computers and readables and all that, so now that everybody's been knocked out, all we gotta do is go back and actually read it. And take all their money, jack in. That's always nice. Ah! Good enough. Forever young. Again. You've been attacked. Nothing in here. Nothing but the access point. I'll watch TV when I get home, okay? Not right now. We're still on a mission right now. I'm pretty sure we can walk around casually because pretty much... Literally everybody inside the warehouse is gone. Outside, there's still a few more guys, but inside... Yep. So as it turns out, there's an extra... computer terminal room here, where... there's more computers. Special delivery. <laughs> you could have told me I was outside. You could have told me. Same stuff. Implants for cheap. Need your help. Oh, I guess it's all just spam mail. I thought there would be more. <laughs> these two guys... These three people might be the only people still left. Mm -hmm. And then there was a guy staring at his computer right here. Yeah. Oh, another one. Don't need that anymore. Audit. Department of Operational Oversight, Takamoto Masuda. Following the evidence that has been collected, the Department of Operational Oversight has decided to take the immediate necessary measures. Employees of all sub-managerial rank shall be interrogated and those guilty of sensitive data breaches from Arasaka Industrial Park shall be brought to justice. Knowledge of these measures are to be restricted solely to management. That almost sounds like a fake department name. Department of Operational Oversight? Did they have a security breach? Another computer? Secure your soul. Client's data. Reina Hirano. Ito-san, in light of the data leak from Amsterdam, the data leak from Amsterdam, wasn't that what my boss was talking about in the very beginning? Hmm, I remember hearing about that back in Arasaka Tower. I took the liberty of conducting additional analysis of our procedures concerning data transferal onto constructs. When it comes to security, the reality is that we have treated our VIP clients no differently from the beta testers acquired on via the net, via the Soul Killer program. It follows that our higher ranking clients pose an additional risk. Most of their actions are observed by millions of people. We cannot avoid media attention, nor can we rely on seemingly airtight NDAs. The risk that a VIP will, as occurred with Tavagers at a book event, refer to the procedure of selling your soul to Arasaka as significant. It simply cannot be avoided. That is why I propose to grant access to a basic SYS version that will be available to the mass market. If everyone can use SYS, the program will cease to generate suspicion or controversy while also making it easier for us to conceal its true inner workings. I will present this proposal during the board's next meeting, but I wanted you to be the first to know. Reina. The Soul Killer program is what did Johnny in. She's very smart though. She's right. If you make it publicly available, sometimes people are interested in things because they're not publicly available. They have top-notch marketers at Arasaka for sure. And then this goes down, back to the initial warehouse entrance they wanted me to go through. Yeah, like this door goes out to the people. You know, the five people who were standing here before. <gasps> Whoa! Okay. Didn't know they were still there. <laughs> Pretty sure we're done now. 
Oh, there is one more thing I want to show you back at Inside the Warehouse. The Flowers of Silence, a biography by Hanako Arasaka. If I had written this biography on the basis of publicly available material, there would be two sides to the story, not to mention the foreword, afterward, and the acknowledgements. Everyone knows that Hanako Arasaka is a very private individual. Everyone has heard about the tragic death of the last reporter who attempted to pen her life story. Ten shots to the back. Suicide, according to the police. That's why when my publisher asked me to write this book, I had to politely decline. Then, when I saw the advance they were offering me, I started to reconsider. And finally, when I discovered that Arasaka's PR department had given its stamp of approval to interview numerous members of Hanako's entourage, I was on the next flight to Tokyo. Soon enough, however, I lost my original enthusiasm. The people Arasaka sent me to be interviewed repeated the same answers to all questions, clearly memorized by heart. After a month's worth of research, all I had was, Hanako Arasaka is the daughter of Saburo Arasaka from his third wife, Michiko. Oh, okay, so she and Yorinobu are full siblings. Hanako's younger. She was born in 1999 in Tokyo and has only left the city five times in her life. Living a cloistered lifestyle, she never fulfilled any important role in the family business. She is very close to Yorinobu Arasaka, the black sheep in the family. Before or still now? Oh. I would have thought that since they lead different factions, they're not on close terms at all. I was ready to give up when in the archives of a local TV station, I found a recording of the opening of an Arasaka branch in Fukuoka, graced by the presence of none other than Hanako herself. She played the piano. Debussy's Reverie. Why that piece? Why play a dreamy, introspective song while surrounded by stoic Japanese businessmen? Her golden fingers caressed the keys. Tears rolled down my cheeks as I listened. That's when I knew I had to finish this book. I had to meet this enigmatic woman and find out who Hanako Arasaka really was. This seems like a double marketing stunt. This guy's writing as if he's not being bankrolled by Arasaka, but they told him to write it like that to make it more to make it seem more authentic. We already know they have great PR people. Some of the insides of the floats look pretty cool, like this thingy here. I'm not sure what that means. What even is this? Oh, it's that statue again with multiple hands. But it has armor on, I guess? Yeah, and then, you know... Actually, that was the only interesting thing I saw. The rest of it is pretty much just the outside. We can't really go in. Which means we can finally get out of here by the roof. Hakemura, don't forget about me. It fucking worked. Yeah. Excellent work, B. Okay, what now? Now we retreat into the shadows and arm ourselves with patience. I will contact you before the parade. Until then, try not to get into any more trouble. <sighs> As if I wasn't in enough already. Oh, man. Ooh. That was a big stealthy section we had. I mean, it wasn't mandatory at least. Play it safe. Pursue other leads or wait until Takemura is ready. Sounds good to me. Where are we now? Can we go home for a little bit? I'm kind of spent. <laughs> it's telling me to walk all the way over. This is some great pathfinding. Look at this. What is even happening? <laughs> okay. Oh, we have so many points too. Jeez. Jeez, jeez, jeez. So much going on here. Five perk points, three attribute points. Co mm, I want to do cool again just so we get more perk points because look, it's topping out again. But cool hasn't really been helping me that much. Whatever, do it. And then... Engineering, I think, was one I liked. Cold blood is good for combat, too. Charge multiplier... Yeah, why don't we go back to... Cold blood, then. I quite like these perks. Increasing all resistances per stack of cold blood. Okay. Merciless. Oh, I can't unlock it. 
We need level 11 and higher levels. Hmm, at this point, there's not really anything I'm dying to get. I don't feel like. Or maybe I just don't know what I want, which is pretty much true anyway. I'm still at level 5 for handguns. Blades level 6. Technical? Easy increase? Crafted clothes gain more armor. Ah, crafting bonuses. Allows me to craft epic items. I need that for Mark III of the max stock. I'm pretty sure. Heck weapons? Breach protocol, quick hacking. What I really want is more slots for quick hacks. That's the main thing. Rare quick hacks. Hmm, minus one. Quick hack duration. Hmm, maybe I will go back to cold blood after all. I want to be a bit buffer when fighting. Because I still die sometimes when fighting. Hmm. Okay, maybe I'll leave it at that for now. Oh, longer cold blood. Okay. <laughs>